So if you look at a thousand years worth of temperature and compare it to a thousand years of CO2, you can see how closely they fit together. Now, a thousand years of uh, CO2 in the mountain glaciers, that's one thing. But in Antarctica, they can go back 650,000 years. This incidentally uh, is the first time anybody outside of a small group of scientists has seen this image. This is the present day uh, era, and that's the last ice age. Then it goes up, that, we're going back in time now, 650,000 years. That's the period of warming between the last two ice ages. That's the second and third ice age back, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh ice age back. Now, an important point. In all of this time, 650,000 years, the CO2 level has never gone above 300 parts per million. Now, as I said, they can also measure temperature. Here's what the temperature has been on our Earth. Now, one thing that kind of jumps out at you is, well, let me put it this way. If my classmate from the sixth grade that talked about uh, Africa and South America were here, he would say, did, 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 did they ever fit together? <laughs> Most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. But they did, of course. And the, the relationship is actually very complicated. But there is one relationship that is far more powerful than all the others, and it is this. When there is more carbon dioxide, the temperature gets warmer because it traps more heat from the sun inside. When there is more carbon dioxide, the temperature gets warmer because it traps more heat from the sun inside. When there is more carbon dioxide, the temperature gets warmer because it traps more heat from the sun inside. When there is more carbon dioxide, the temperature gets warmer because it traps more heat from the sun inside. When there is more carbon dioxide, the temperature gets warmer because it traps more heat from the sun inside. When there is more carbon dioxide, the temperature gets warmer because it traps more heat from the sun inside. When there is more carbon dioxide, the temperature gets warmer because it traps more heat from the sun inside. When there is more carbon dioxide, the temperature gets warmer because it traps more heat from the sun inside. Trying to get by I'm just looking for